Hey guys, it's Sophia. My presentation is going to be on a painting by Henri Matisse. It is called Red Room, also known as Harmony in Red. It was done in 1908. Right away, I want you guys to make some mental notes about this painting. You don't need to use any artistic language to describe it. Just keep track of things like what colors were used, what things stand out, or any emotions that you feel when looking at it. This is a great way to think about the impression a piece of art has on you before you know anything about the history or intentions of the artist. So before we get into discussing the painting itself and why it's important, first we need to understand a little bit about the artist's style and history. Henri Matisse was born in Paris in 1869. He actually started his life as a legal clerk and was planning on studying law. He didn't really start painting until 1889, but when Matisse finally decided to devote his life to art, he is quoted as saying, From the moment I held the box of colors in my hands, I knew this was my life. He studied under several famous older artists, in addition to attending several art schools and academies. He started by painting landscapes and still life in a very traditional French style. Some of his older works are easy to describe as gloomy or morose, but his style really began to blossom in a completely different and progressive direction at the turn of the 20th century. His art is most known for its vibrant color and daring contrasts, something that established him as one of the forefathers of fauvism. Fauve means wild beast, alluding to the rather eccentric or daring nature of a person. Another well-known and identifiable characteristic of fauvism was its use of symbolism and its ability to express emotions through the use of color. During his years of exploration, Matisse went back to simpler roots by doing works contrived entirely of paper cutouts, which is consistent with his drastic color contrasts in a much more pure form. He was actually given a painting by Vincent van Gogh, who is also considered a fauvist, during the early years of his career. This could have served as some source of inspiration for his own later work. So let's get into talk. A little known fact about this particular painting is that Matisse was actually commissioned for a painting called Harmony in Blue by a wealthy French collector. But when Matisse was ultimately unsatisfied with the end result, he actually painted over the blue background with red. It's easy to imagine the drastically different feel this painting would have if it were red instead of blue. Immediately, we see the characteristic color contrasts of Matisse. A deep, dark red background, royal blue ornate designs, and the nature scene through the window. Further, there is a dinner table adorned with flowers, fruits, and wine. The woman depicted clearly comes from a wealthy background to be able to afford these things, and is arranging the table in a way that suge suggests she has done so before. The glimpse through the dining room window suggests that the woman's home is in the countryside, surrounded by nature and rather isolated. Perhaps it is a mansion or manor owned by a rich family. A wood and straw chair lies noticeably empty on the other side of the table, and there is no indication that there, is, that there are any other chairs at the table, even for the woman. So now that we have established what elements are so now that we have established what elements are in the painting, let's talk a little more about their significance and possible symbolic meaning. Knowing what we know about the painting's original purpose as a mostly blue piece, the fact that the flowers and branches are blue becomes very significant. Why did Matisse allow them to remain blue, or choose to paint them blue later? It was clearly a conscious decision. Although this is pure speculation, an idea could be that they add a rather wistful and dreary note to the painting, implying that the woman may not be happy with her life, even with her wealth and peaceful surroundings. Another thought is that they don't seem to match the royal red and beautiful fruits of the rest of the manor. Flowers are supposed to be known for their color and beauty more than almost anything else. Did the woman allow them to die or wilt? They could also be there to add a sort of mystical quality to the painting in an otherwise completely realistic scene. 
The second point I want to touch on is the lack of any other human figures in the painting. It is unlikely that the woman lives alone in the manor, but where are her kids, husband, or her extended family? Is the empty chair at the head of the table hinting that she may be a widow? And although there are beautiful fruits and wine set at the table, the fact that there is nobody else to enjoy them could mean that the woman is simply doing it out of ritual or habit, even though they are not there. Finally, finally, although a rather small point in the painting, I do want to draw your attention to the fact that there is a house in the distance. Considering what we have speculated on so far, is the woman acquainted with these neighbors? If so, why has she not invited them over to enjoy her banquet? Or is the house in the distance meant to only add to the idea that she is isolated? Although a lot of my analysis has really been guessing at Matisse's intent, intent for Harmony in Red, all of these points support the idea that a painting can have a real emotional effect on the viewer, and even more than that, tell a story. So now I'm going to move on. So now I'm going to move on to why this specific painting is important. We all know that color is an extremely critical aspect of physical art, but the reason why the Fauvist movement was so important in the larger context of art history is that they took color much more seriously than it had been before. Through Fauvism and Matisse's paintings, color became a philosophy. It demanded unprecedented respect in art, and it would never lose that respect in the years to come. This particular painting of Matisse's is a perfect representation of many of Matisse's personal artistic characteristics, in addition to showing Matisse's role in fathering the Fauvist movement. The complete saturation of bold and vibrant colors immediately grabs your attention. There isn't really a single subject in the painting, yet the chaos appears controlled and restrained. Red Room works on its own to transport the viewer physically and emotionally to a completely different world. I hope you have enjoyed my analysis of Matisse's Red Room, or Harmony in Red. Thank you for listening!